Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a flyer. Now, this flyer is going to be, since it's winter and Christmas and stuff, you'll see more flyers now with like snowflakes and Christmas trees and bulbs and stuff. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make a flyer for a feast at my school. So I'm going to teach you how to make a flyer and what you should do to like the background and stuff to make your flyer uh, pop more and make it look uh, attractive. So first you are going to need to go to file, new, and make your paper 8.5 inches by 12 inches. This is like the size of a regular piece of construction paper so if you were to print this out it would be the exact size of your paper so you want to click OK and you should get your paper like this so it's, on, it's locked so you double click the layer and click OK and what you want to do is you want to find an image of like you don't want anything in the middle like you don't want stuff in the middle because there's going to be writing here and you're going to want people to be able to read it so you mainly just want stuff that's like a border kinda so you want to avoid any graphics in the middle so I went along and found an image with a lot of detail but none of it's in the middle so I will show you mine by going to file open and import the image that you would like to use for this flyer so you know this is mine I found this one because it's mainly all of the stuff is around the outside and there's very minimal detail in the middle so what you want to do is uh, click on the move tool and select the image and drag it to your main project and place it over your image. As you can see my picture is a lot bigger than this um, than our project. So what you want to do is hold command and the minus sign and it will zoom out like this and with this layer one selected you want to click the move tool and hold control T and you will get this outer box. This will allow you to change the angle and direction of the paper. So what you want to do is go up to the any corner you want until the arrows are like this and you want to click and rotate the image so it is aligned with your paper. And when you see that these lines aren't like pixely and to where they're not straight then you want to release and while holding shift make the image smaller and position your image it should pretty much move the exact size of the paper and then what you want to do is hold command again or control if you're on a PC and plus sign and you will zoom in and click enter and if you see any white lines like this right here you hold command or control T again and then you, while holding shift just make it a little more out off the page so you, know, you could still tell it's a snowflake but it's, it's better appearance I guess if you don't see any white lines so click enter and just make sure that you're, there's no white lines around the edge because that would it wouldn't really doesn't look very good so now with this you want to figure out where your text is going to go so mainly what the event is goes on the top right here so what you want to do and you could there's a tool that you could use 
to make sure that your text is not all like crooked and centered perfectly and stuff. So you want to go to view and click rulers. This will make a ruler around your work. And with this tool you can simply click the ruler and drag it down to where you think would be the best place for like the title. So I'm going to say about three or so and then I'll make a blue line right here. Now you want to click new layer and text. And you could pick any text you want. Just pick a text that's bold and would stand out a lot. Let's find just any random one. I'll just click this one. And you want to just click your project and type whatever you are doing. So I'll just say Let's do my school's winter feast that's going on. And to make the text bigger, you hold Control or Command T, and then with Shift, holding Shift, drag your text to the desired size. And then another trick you can do to make sure your text is center we don't have to eyeball it is here I'll make the up of the text over here so I can just show the demonstration and you click enter now with this ruler you can here let's see you can click layer 0 and it will command T and it will copy the whole background this right here is the middle of your work so you, you can drag the ruler to that middle and that will make at the center of your work. You can grab another ruler from the top and make that the center if you'd like. And then with this text oops, with this text layer you can move this and then while holding command T or control you can position that little this little thing right here. You can position that on that blue line and then if it's off a little bit as you can see it's off a little you can use the arrows on your keyboard and move it side to side so right there is perfectly in the middle and with a text and click apply and with your text layer as you you can see like using black text is it's kinda it's kinda hard to see so I'd suggest since the snowflakes are white and blue and the background is blue to use like a white text color and then you can do like you can go to your blending options on this layer so you can go to this you can click this effects button and go to blending options and maybe you can put like a let's see uh, where's the an underglow or no a drop shadow see how it broadens the uh, the white text with the black background you can go here and then make the opacity a hundred percent and change this to normal you could really mess with the size, like if you wanted to really stick out like that, um, change the size to zero. But if you want it to be like a shadow shadow, then you can make it bigger. But I think with, with this tutorial, I'm going to do two pixels. So it's not just like a copy image uh, of the text. So right there. Um, is a perfect example of making your text stand out. I, I think with this text I'm going to make the text larger but not wider. So there we go. And now if you're going to make a flyer you're going to need 
a time, a date, and where it is, like a location, and if you need to bring anything. And then if there's additional um, like fundraiser going on, or if there's like an entry fee, then you have to include all of that on your work. So click new layer again and go to your text and you can use your ruler once again um, and it's also good to use different fonts so to make your to make a word stand out more so right here I'm using I'm just using the ruler to mark where I should place text so I'm placing them every inch I'm replacing my ruler every inch or so. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Just gonna delete that layer for now. And move. Oops. And move the ruler. Oh, this is the ruler. Move it to an inch. And then these are just marks so I know where text should go. If I really wanted to put text, if it's too far down, if it's too too high up, and so and so it's perfectly um, separated. So and using this line and down the middle I can center all of this stuff. So, say right here, you can put, hmm, let's see, let's see the times, of course you need the time, so right here you're going to want to put, say, from 1 p.m. through 5 p.m. or so in the lunch room. So you can really just do you can type you could type anything you need. This is just a tutorial on how to where you should like proper placements and and stuff. You don't have to do the same thing I'm doing. I'm just using my school as an example because it's the current thing that's going on right now. So people are going to want to know the time. Time is key and they want to know the location. So and it's also good to um, do the same thing in the titling but not so much. Like see how you could see the black right behind the text like perfectly. So what you're going to probably want to do is not go all out on the drop shadow but this would, um, the size you can make, you can make it like, just not so much, but so where people can still see the white text on the blue background. So, or you could simply say on this next text layer, you can hold control and then click the layer and you can click, you can, um, can copy the layer style and then paste it on the next layer style so all of these are the same so I'm not gonna do any I'm not gonna do the effects on the next text and then I'll show you after a couple more of the text layers that you could do them all at the same time okay so now that I got the time and location down I'm gonna move this down a little bit more so it's nice Okay, so next you want to do the entry fee, if there is one. Um, click there. Or if there's like raffle going down or going on, I'm going to do $10 raffle tickets. Plus 
plus one dollar oops one dollar entry fee. These these aren't real statistics. I'm just making up stuff as we go so I can just have something to write to write down for you guys. So um I actually am going to copy the layer style for this one and then paste layer style. See how it uh, does the drop shadow or drop shadow. So if you want to make the text layer bigger, you hold control or command T and hold while holding shift so your the text resolution doesn't go down and doesn't get pixelated. That should be good. I'm going to use a different font or yeah, I'm going to use a different font for the money sign though. So over the text, I'm going to highlight the text. I'm going to go up to a different font and I'm going to click just a different one. See that will change. We'll change the different font. Change that. Wait, what was this one? I can't remember what this one was. Oh, CR. So Gonna copy that layer. Oops, that layer style. Copy that layer style, and maybe to make the text stand out more is to change the color of it, so people can see that it's there. Really, is a an entry fee, and it's not free. Um, so, so something like that. Make the the text a different color so people could see, and then you don't have to use every line. You can skip more. So I'm just going. I'm gonna do a new layer and a new text layer. I'm gonna skip. Mm, I'm gonna skip this one and go right here. So in, uh, for this one, I'm gonna say. Food will be provided. Food and drinks. But you can bring your own. Oops, I said one. Own. And you don't want to use periods. These aren't sentences. These are. This is a flyer. So you want to get your point across. But and also, if you are going to use, um, if you're going to use exclamation points, don't use them after every single thing because that just makes it look sloppy. And this is not centered, but it just makes it really. It makes it look sloppy, and it just does not look good if you have exclamation points on all of your stuff. So um, with this you're gonna wanna do the same thing where you hold control, click the layer, copy layer style, hold control again, click the layer, and paste layer style. Um, I believe you would want I think you'd want the food and drinks will be provided to be sorta smaller you don't really it's not I mean it's important but it's not important so important as to or as more of the money because if you can't get in if you don't have any money because it says that there's no entry fee then it, you are charged at the door or whatever you don't have money then you're going to be bummed out so I think I'm going to make the text layer bigger you could because it's pretty important and make it 
wider, bigger, make it wider, and I'm just going to center it right in the middle of these here. All right. Um, And then I'm going to click on the food and drinks layer and make that one bigger too. While holding shift, make it bigger, wider. Let's see. And click OK. And then the next thing we're going to do is go on this line. We're going to skip this one and then we're going to go right here. And this is going to be the date. That everything is and we're gonna actually repeat the time and put the time uh, we're gonna put the time right here or the date right here and then, the, and then repeat the time at the bottom so we're gonna do another text layer and skip this line and click right here and this one is gonna be the date so since it's December 16th 2013. So we're going to do this December 16. Um, we'll make this a two day thing. So through the 18th. Actually, you know what? We're going to move this, the date, under the time up here because that's pretty important. I wasn't not thinking. So you're gonna want to. You should just move this down one. Flush with the line. Then move the ten dollar raffle. Down one more line too, and then we're just gonna move the time and date to the next line under that because you're not gonna want it shows the time up here and stuff. We might even just I might even just put the the date up there and then move the time down one. guys are making a lot of changes um, to see that that's what um, making this stuff is though to make it to make it right you're gonna make changes if you don't think that it's if you don't think that it uh, looks too appealing then make a change there's nothing wrong with changes um, this want to make this center That looks good to me. Okay, and with this next thing, you're going to want to what else? You got the date, the time, the entry fee, food and drinks. I, I I'm pretty. We should just say. The, to close this out, just um, do a simple hope to see you all there and have some, mm, some great food. Great food. This is where you would use the exclamation point. Gonna do copy layer, oops, copy layer, paste the layer style, make this 
big. And that's pretty much it. So I know this doesn't look too appealing, but you can adjust the text size to your liking. And I'm pretty much just giving you the gist of all this stuff. And if you if these rulers are bugging you, they won't save on your artwork. Or uh, they won't save on your thing, but it's just good to have. But if you don't want them, you can just drag them up to the ruler again and they disappear or you can drag them off the screen down here and there you go and maybe even you can even use this use this tool under the, uh, the move tool click new layer and just highlight the whole project and then oops and then you can add, you can hold control and then click stroke and then you can make like a border so like five pixels or so you can, it'll make a, you can hold control D oops, command D or control D to deselect and it puts a, a border, a nice little border around your thing so it doesn't look like you just pasted an image on your thing. Alright um, that's about it. So if you like this tutorial, uh, leave a like and comment, and thank you.